We're actually in, in, in chronological yeah, order. In chronological order. Alright, this just dates from 87, but I know there's been people before and probably people since. First of all, Clinton McCurbin, I remember in Wolverhampton because that got a lot of publicity on the radio at the time. Yeah. He died on 20th of uh, February 1987 while being arrested for allegedly shopping me and use of a stolen credit card. Not proved, by the way. He died of as asphyxia only minutes after two police officers reported the shop. Next, Alton Manning, a 33-year-old man from Sparkbrook, Birmingham, who was a prisoner on remand. Killed on the 8th of December 1995 after being assaulted by prison officers at private prison Blakenhurst. An inquest which was originally opened on the 12th of January 1998 and concluded on the 25th of March the same year, he unanimously decided that he was unlawfully killed. David Henderson, who was 18, was discovered hanging from a sheet tied to his cell at Brinsford Young Offenders Institution in the West Mids. He died five days later on the 22nd of March 2000 in Wolverhampton's New Cross Hospital. Martin Green, aged 25, was a prisoner who became dehydrated from heroin addiction. Martin of Burton on Trent Staffordshire was 11 days into his sentence at Blakenhurst Prison, Worcestershire, where he died on the 15th of July 2002. He'd been detoxing after being jailed 11 days earlier for dangerous driving. Mikey Powell died December September 2003. Officers drove a police car at Mikey beat him with a baton, CS gassed him, restrained him, and knowing where he was injured, drove him to a police station, not a hospital. He died later that night. He was 38 years old and a father of three young children. He'd never been in trouble with the police before and was well known and respected within his community. Michael Bailey. Six police officers were suspended at the privately run Rye Hill Hospital where police were investigating the deaths of two prisoners allegations of corruption by staff. Two prison officers were suspended immediately by the time of the death of 23 year old Michael Bailey on the 24th of March 2005 in its segregation unit. The officer's conscious came after. <coughs> Lee Shaw McCardle was 19 years old when he was arrested for stealing three buses of traffic. For the local supermarket. He was placed in Brixton. Brixton Young Offenders Institution on remand. While awaiting sentence, he was placed on a rapid detox program but because of his heroin misuse. He wasn't monitored adequately due to the recorded fact that they had not got the relevant forms. A few days after his detox, Lee was found hanging by his cellmate at 8.40pm on Saturday, the 12th of February 2005. Due to lack of, first, of a first officer's response, he was later pronounced dead by paramedics at 9.55. He left behind a four-year-old son and a five-week-old daughter. Victor Massey, age 54, so it shows it's not always young people, or won't be young people, died at King's Mill Hospital, Nottinghamshire, on the 8th of August 2006, while being treated with powerful painkillers for pancreatitis. An inquest jury heard he locked himself in a shower room and threatened police. A security supervisor said CS gas was used on Mr. Massey after he tried to stab a PC through the shower room door with a piece of glass. He was then pinned to the floor and handcuffed. A pathologist concluded Mr. Massey died from cardiac arrest following restraint in combination with pancreatitis, pancreatitis, I don't know that right, and the drug Tramadol. Lloyd Butler, age 39, from Sheldon, Birmingham, was arrested following a call from his family that he was drunk and incapable. He was arrested by police and placed in a cell shortly after midnight on the 4th of August 2010 and kept under observation due to his poor condition. He became unwell and died later that day. Kingsley Burrell, aged 27 years old, died in what appeared to be extremely suspicious circumstances in Birmingham. It's reported that he called police after he tried to talk to a group of young people who were intimidating him subsequently arrested himself and detained under the Mental Health Act. And days later he was in intensive care and subsequently died on the 31st of March last year. Finally for now, Dimitri Fraser, a 21 year old that man, our people are seeking answers from the receptor. He allegedly fell to his death from a tower block on the 31st of May last year. It was reported that police officers visited Dimitri at the flat where he was staying on the night that he died. There are others, but they'll talk about those later.